In this lesson, we'll learn how to solve logistic growth application problems. Logistic growth is a model of population growth in which the per capita growth rate, so for each individual, declines as the population size increases. The model describes the logistic growth of a population P at any time T given the function shown underneath, where C, B, and K are constants and they change depending on the information provided by the other variables. The variable C represents the carrying capacity, which is the upper limit or maximum of the function. T represents the time and this variable represents the population at any time. With that being said, let's take a look at the question. It reads, 10 goldfish were introduced into a small pond. This part's important, 10 goldfish, we'll need that for later. Because of limited food, space, and oxygen, the carrying capacity of the pond is 400 goldfish. I'll also underline that. The goldfish population at any time t in days is modeled by the logistic growth function shown underneath. If 30 goldfish are in the pond after 20 days, find b, k, and when will the pond contain 250 goldfish? Let's begin with A. To find out what B is, we need to substitute these values, the ones that we've been given, into the function. F of T will be replaced with 10. C, representing the carrying capacity, the upper limit, will be 400 over 1 plus B, E, K. And since at the very beginning, we represent that as time is equal to 0 at 0 days. I'll replace t with 0. And from here, you can solve for b. So k times 0 happens to be 0. And anything raised to the power of 0 gives you 1. This factor goes to 1, leaving us with 10 is equal to 400 over 1 plus b. We have to solve for b, and we can do that easily using some algebraic techniques. We multiply both sides by the denominator. 1 plus b, and then expand the left side. The right side, this will cancel out with that. So expanding this, we get 10 plus 10b is equal to 400. Then we solve for b. Bring that over. 400 minus 10, that's 390. And then we divide both sides. So b, our constant, happens to be 39. I can start to substitute that now back into my function. My function now looks like this after completing question A. If we want to find out what K is, I'll substitute the value 30 into here. And that happens after 20 days. So this will be my new T value. Let's go ahead and do that. We have 30 is equal to 400 over 1 plus 39 E k, and that's 20. This will require some more algebra. I'll multiply both sides by the denominator again. 1 plus 39 e 20k times 30. And on the right side, we only have 400 because that cancels it out on the right side. Divide both sides by 30. We'll get rid of that. We can also erase the parentheses, no longer needed. I'll move this one over to that side, 39e 20k, I have 400 over 30, we can reduce this actually, so it's 40 over 3, minus 1, then we have 39 on the left side, which we can divide both sides by. So this is what our function looks like after performing those techniques. All right, to solve for k, we need to get rid of this base of e. So we lawn both sides. And lawning both sides, we'll get rid of this e because lawn is the same thing as log of base e. And if this is e, if the base and this part are the same, the expression goes to 1. So we have 20k on the left side and all of this mess on the right side. Let's find out what all of that is. I will type in lawn. And the top part will be enclosed in its own parentheses, divided by 39. Let's fill in the top part. We have 40 over 3 minus 1. All of that's the denominator, divided by 39. 
gives us negative 1.1512. Let's just leave that on our screen for now and divide it by 20. We get a k value that is approximately negative 0 0.05756. So that's our k value. And in question C, when will the pond contain 250 goldfish? Round to the nearest whole number. Okay, so in this case, we found everything that we need. We have the function right here. We can replace k with what it is, and it's that. Let me rewrite the function. This time they're asking us, when will it have 250? So I'll replace this with 250, and this time I will solve for t. Let me rewrite the right side. Okay, again, the math is the same. We multiply both sides by the denominator. And on the right side, we're left with 400. We divide both sides by 250. So at 400 over 250, and that remains. Next, we move this one over. No need for the parentheses, by the way. I don't know why I rewrote them. And I get 400 over 250 minus one. So that's the right side now, three over five. Then I divide both sides by 39. Divide both sides by 39 and I get one over 65. So I no longer have this one, I no longer have this 39. I have e to the power of negative 0 0.05756t. I lawn both sides, that will get rid of the e. So I'll lawn this number. Gives me negative 4.174. Don't be alarmed just yet because we're dividing by next a negative value. So divide by negative 0 0.05756 and we get 72.5. We need to run this to the nearest hole and that is 73 days. So it'll take 73 days for 250 goldfish to be found in this pond after that initial 10. And so there you have it. That is how to solve logistic growth applications.